guys. Today we are in Holmes County, Ohio in Charm and we're standing in front of Kime Lumber. Now this place has been here for 111 years and it is on 50 acres. Yeah, it's like a Lowe's Home Depot on steroids. The showroom is 125,000 square feet. So you think we're going in there to get some lumber? No, we're going in there to get something to eat. They have a restaurant on the second floor called the Carpenter's Cafe. A lot of people have requested us coming here. So we are here. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Just walked in, cafe up here on the second floor. This place is pretty, mm -hmm, all this wood. Let's take a scan for you guys just to see. Here's where we came in, a lot of lights. Cafe this way, it's like wide open up here. Let's look off the side, there's the cafe. So they do have elevators to come up to the cafeteria. That's nice. And there's the cafeteria back in here. Ride the elevator, take the steps, come up here booths are nice and big after you're done you just take your plate back throw it in the trash they have real knives here not just the plastic ones if you want a real one for knives and spoons get your coffee iced tea and over here is the condiment section if you want to add some stuff ketchup some A1, some mayonnaise, anything else you need. Here are the lunch favorites and the prices. Carpenter's Cafe. Now they have breakfast, even though we're not getting it. I'll show you guys the menu and the prices. Skillet, eggs, breakfast sandwich, biscuits and sausage gravy. Gluten-free bread. Salads now. In the comments before, everyone said we needed to come here and get the taco salad. So that's why we got. And the hamburger. Bobby got the hamburger. The Mexican salad. Some appetizers. Nachos. Appetizer sampler. You have to choose all those things. There are the sides. Bobby got the Framer burger with fries there's the all burger it's a half pound hamburger with two slices of cheese bacon lettuce and tomato you have chicken grilled cheese popcorn shrimp coney hot dog there's a different deli sandwiches also some chicken tenders wrap and specialty sandwiches chicken quesadilla and they make their own soft serve ice cream vanilla chocolate and twist have root beer float turtle sundae volcano milkshakes there's drink prices smoothies hot chocolate and latte pretty decent menu and a lot of space in here and these nice booths plenty of places to eat overlook a hardware store I will say this is probably the first time we have ever been into a hardware store that has a restaurant 
And Bobby, what when we ordered, what they give you to get the meal with? Oh, your buzzer will go off. We'll back up. Now we're trying to watch what we're filming because a lot of Amish people in here and they don't like to be on camera. Buzzer went off. Went up and picked it up. Look at that, guys. And you see something in there? Olives. I ordered for him. Bobby ordered for me because you know he's going to eat some of it. I told him not to put a lot of. There's not too many in there. Black olives in there. Does that not look amazing? Mm -hmm. There's the little salsa, taco, sour cream. Mm -hmm. Bobby, that burger looks good. Yeah, a nice soft bun. It's like, I think it's a third pound burger. Okay, I'll take this out first. There's tomato, pickles, and onions. There you go. And you put on, they have stuff on the table, but we also have a, a condiment okay. section up there we showed you. Bobby's gonna load it up and then are you gonna come back? Or, or you wanna try it before? Why don't you try it without nothing? Eat it dry. I don't like dry. I know, but just see how the flavors are from. Let's just take a side look at it. That's a pretty good sized tomato. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a pretty good first bite. But okay. I still wanna put my Alright, we'll try we'll come right back at you with the stuff on it. Alright, so I got everything on there I want it. Um there. That looks good. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad hamburger. I got the, everything on it that I wanted. The bun's nice, soft. Vegetables look nice and mm -hmm. fresh on there. They do. See how pretty the lettuce even mm -hmm. look. Those are just Basic frozen. Basic frozen fries. They're hot. So that's worth, uh, what was that, $7.99? Mm -hmm. That's worth that. All right, guys, let's break this down. Have the uh, lettuce and spinach mix in there. It's a baked shell, homemade taco meat, olives, of course, Bobby put that in there, some cheese. We should have some onions. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see the tomatoes. Yep. yep they're red cut onions. Up, they're cut up really fine. Have the red onions yeah. in there. So you got to try the meat before you put all that I'm on there? I'm going to. This one is show okay. you. Okay. The taco. This is homemade. Make this here. Gave me some sour cream. And some salsa. So I'm gonna, yeah, try this meat just by itself. That is so good. I don't know what kind of seasonings. I mean, it's Mexican seasoning, of course. Mm -hmm. but, it's probably regular but, taco seasoning. Yeah, but it's homemade. They're making it. It is. The, the meat, the hamburger is fresh. The, the amount of spice that they used in that is perfect. It's fresh vegetables I know you're gonna like it I see why you guys wanted us to come and try this we've heard several times we've heard you got to come here and try the taco salad I've never got a taco salad out before so I can't compare it to other places but that's a pretty good size I'm happy with that so I'm gonna let Bobby try this meat and then we'll put some other stuff in and load it up all right Bobby's gonna try it except she's probably gonna put an olive in there I am and then we'll put the homemade taco dressing on there. It's very good seasoning. Yeah. That's what they I was telling you. Yeah. The meat's tender. Good flavors. That's great quality meat in there. But didn't that seasoning, I mean, it's better than Old El Paso and Taco oh, yeah, Bell. Yeah. That olive may have helped too. Oh, it's the olive that helped. So you might want to try that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'll... really the meat, it didn't need any help. <laughs> Homemade taco sauce. Let's just try it. <laughs> guys would like that. That's different. That's made with Thousand Island dressing. Sweet, got a lot of sugar in it. See, it has some, it's like salsa mm -hmm. chopped up in it. But I don't think I've ever had taco dressing with Thousand Islands. They use Thousand Islands in everything, don't mm -hmm. they? Big Mac. Just put a little bit on here. And I'll put the regular salsa and stuff on later after off camera. But just, just try it mixed in with the taco meat, a little onion, a little tomato. That complements that meat so well with the, the kind of the sweetness of the Thousand Islands and the sugar in there of that meat. Let's break off this. Sounds crunchy, so it doesn't it does. sound stale. No. Not stale at all. I see why you guys wanted us to come here and try this. I appreciate you doing that because I love tacos. Don't ever get a taco salad. I'm excited about 
just load it up with salsa and everything else. <laughs> Bobby's gonna try it with everything on it. Hurt the crunch. You're right about the thousand mile, and it's different. It is. I have to try to remember that maybe make it at home. Mm. And the nacho shells are fresh. Yeah, they're definitely fresh. I mean, it's not stale at all. Mm -hmm. Here's our receipt at the Carpenter's Cafe. Five ninety five for the taco salad. Seven ninety nine for the burger and fries. Two small drinks. Three eighty. Grand total. Eighteen ninety nine had to get some dessert. This is the Dirty Brownie Sunday. Looks excellent. Bobby got some homemade soft serve made here. They make their own soft serve ice cream. Look how creamy that looks. Chocolate, nice and cold. And it, you can just taste the chocolate. I mean, like a rich chocolate, almost like the chocolate milk is that flavor to me. Smooth and creamy. Had to get this. Got your whipped cream, marshmallow cream in there. There's some of that, you see that. Plenty of brownie. Look at those chunks of brownie. And that ice cream like he had and some chopped nuts. So I'm going after the brownie in this corner. Get a little bit of this marshmallow cream over there. That brownie is definitely fresh. That ice cream, let's get it by itself. Since they make it here. Well, that is good ice cream. That is so creamy. Guys, this was $3.95 for all that. And there, it's just loaded with ice cream. And brownies hey, all over it. Do you know if the Cool Whip, is that Cool Whip or like a whip topping that you think they may have made? I I don't know, it's marshmallow What's cream. Oh, it's marshmallow they, cream. Well, also. that's whip, there's marshmallow cream in it. There's okay. whip topping so and marshmallow cream. Probably didn't make that. I don't know, but before I forget, you know why that hamburger is probably so good? Ask them about that. They get that locally from the Sugar Creek, the meat market in Sugar Creek, so that's why it's so fresh. Digging down through this, I also found Oreo cookies in here. Second receipt for our Sunday and ice cream. It's a good price, guys. $5.90 for those two items. A lot of ice cream there, a lot of toppings on that brownie. Come in here sometime and do a vlog. Look how the displays are. Look at that bathtub. Reminds me of the old ones. They have everything like set up. Very pretty in here. Quick peek in case you guys ever want to come up here. Show you again is how they have everything displayed like they do in the bathroom section. Bobby found something she likes. That is. It's really nice how they have it all done. Mm -hmm. Huge store. You guys just need to come see it when you're up here in Amish country. Okay, John, I found the one I wanted. You want this one? Check that out. Wow. Well, I'm going to build a bigger house because my kitchen's <laughs> not that big. That's as big as someone's living room. Does it have prices on it? Just curious. Is it over here? There we go. Cabinets as shown, 18.9, countertops, 58.40. So around 23,000 for all this? Is that right? Wait a minute. Nope, that's for, there's others. I don't know which is which. Probably more that we can spend. We got stopped when she saw this. Yeah, I love these fake cakes. I have a project that me and my daughter are going to make one of these. I have all the supplies, I just haven't had the time to make one. What'd you find over here? Yes, John. No calorie cookies. And you can't beat that. We can't no. eat these. Look, don't those look real? They do. That is so cool. I think there's some more stuff over here. Is that a loaf of bread? And, and some cereal. 
That looks so real. That does, doesn't it? Some Fruit Loops. That's even heavier. I like the cookies. Well, we just left Kime Lumber and the Carpenter's Cafe. What did you think about it, Bobby? Almost forgot that we went in there to eat because there are so many different things to look at downstairs after we get done eating. I love the kitchen cabinets that they have in there and those fake cookies and cake. I would have loved to have those, but they didn't have any. But the cafeteria, I wanted to give a shout out to the ladies that worked in there. They were super friendly, weren't they, John? They were. Um, I got the hamburger, which is local meat from Sugar Creek. Mm -hmm. So it was fresh. The pickles gave it a nice crunch and then the lettuce and tomatoes and onions, nice fresh bun. And I got the chocolate ice cream, homemade ice cream there. And it almost reminded me of a um, chocolate milk. Yeah, it was definitely chocolatey. How about that sundae I got? And you tried it, a lot of toppings, $4 for that guys. The taco salad, the fresh homemade taco meat and the taco sauce was homemade. And the black olives. And can't forget the black olives. <laughs> That was great. I think that was $5.95. So we're gonna give you a suggestion. Make this like an afternoon or a morning because you can get breakfast here because mm -hmm. you're gonna wanna stay here for at least a couple hours when you see how big this place is. Yeah, there's a lot to see here. Um, we also got to meet Henry from New Jersey. That was, that was pleasant to meet him. Yeah, Very nice you guy. your meal too. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have left the building. Oh!